Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Um, so I want to explain standard problem, no sound in BMW in 5, 3 series, pretty much every BMW with Logic 7 amplifier, which is this. Um, the shop diagnosed that the amplifier is bad, which is wrong, the amplifier is fine. And we'll find out what actually is bad in this car. So number one thing, we need to turn on the radio and see if this light is blinking. This is the first point uh, from the head unit. Head unit has an output and input. The signal from the output goes and travels through all the units and goes back to the output. It's pretty much sequential connection. We, c we call it Christmas light concept. One unit goes bad, nothing works. Okay, so the light is here. So what we need to do, we need to make sure that there's 12 volts present here. Every unit must have 12 volts, period. The red one and the brown wire, this is the power. So um, the ground is always a chassis, so make sure that the red one has 12 volts. There's a fuse for that, just in case. So if it has 12 volts, everything's good here. We connect it. Connect it. Okay, the amplifier connected. Then we connect the fiber optic. And over here, we have the LED indication, which is really helpful. Right now it's blinking, which means that the amplifier processor received the fiber optic signal and everything is good most likely with the amplifier. But since the uh, fiber optic line is interrupted because some other unit is bad, it's blinking pretty much. Okay, from here we go to other units here. We can see that this one is blinking. I already disconnected all, all of them. This is the telephone module, this is the satellite tuner. And um, as you can see, it's blinking here so which means that next unit after the amplifier is a telephone module and um, uh, after telephone module it travels to the satellite tuner as you can see there is no red light here so we're going to connect it here it's not very convenient to connect it wait it goes here or this way Okay, we connected it, and now we can see that the red light travels to the satellite tuner. Uh, the satellite tuner is the last one here. After that, it goes to the head unit. And we connect it. And now... ...in the glove box. So, all cars are a little bit different, but in 3 Series, it's located here. And it's covered by this. So anyways, um, you, don't, you see that there is no red light. This is the last one. So basically the head unit is not getting the fiber optic line um, connected. So now we need to find out. So basically now it tells us that the problem is sitting in the satellite tuner. So now we're gonna bypass the satellite tuner and see what's going to happen. All right. So the satellite tuner can be bypassed by fiber optic loop. We're going to use this one. They sell it for $20 at any BMW dealer. And uh, we're going to connect it. Oops, the other way. So all you need just to pretty much loop the line, but you cannot do it yourself. I mean, you can do it yourself, but make sure you buy the loop, the jumper, and see what's going to happen here. The light is back. So this one is a termination loop. We're going to connect it and turn on the radio. I felt like a victim all over again. I so was that's frustrated. pretty much it. So I hired a 